Hi everyone, I've got a new story for you here today. It's called Molly Rogers Pirate Girl. Captain Firebeard was the terror of the high seas. His ship, the Horrible Haddock, sailed faster than the wind over the waves. Whenever the Horrible Haddock appeared on the horizon, the knees of honest seafaring folk would shake like jelly. Captain Firebeard had a fearsome crew. His helmsman was Morgan O'Meany, his cook was Cutlass Tom, Billy the Bald, William Woodenhand, Crooked Carl and twenty more terrible pirates, just like them, made up the rest of the motley bunch. When Captain Firebeard's crew boarded a ship, nothing was safe. They stole the silver spoons and the captain's uniform, they stole the ship's figurehead, the pots and pans, the hammocks and the sails, and of course, they stole all of the casks of rum. But one day, Captain Firebeard robbed a ship that he really should have left alone. On board was a little girl named Molly. Molly was off on a trip to see her grandma. The pirates leapt on board with an ear-splitting roar. Molly tried hiding among the ropes, but Morgan O'Meany soon fished her out. What shall we do with her? he said with a smirk. Take her with us, you fool, Captain Firebeard bellowed. Her parents will pay a handsome ransom for such a little treasure. And if not, then we'll feed her to the sharks. You'll be sorry for this, cried Molly. But Morgan O'Meany rolled her up like a herring and tossed her on board the horrible haddock. When the sun had gone down, Billy the Bull dragged Molly to see the captain. All right, tell me your parents' names and address or else, Captain Firebeard growled. Will not, Molly growled back. If I told you my mother's name, you'd be so scared that you'd cry like a baby. At this, all the pirates howled with laughter. So Molly was put to work. She peeled the potatoes and cleaned the boots. She polished cutlasses, patched sails and scrubbed the decks. Soon, every bone in her body ached. Three times a day, Captain Firebeard asked her, Name and address. But Molly just smiled. Feed her to the sharks, roared William Woodenhand. But Captain Firebeard ground his teeth. She'll talk before long, he said. Every night, the pirates had a party. They drank rum, staggered across the deck, danced on the ship's rigging and bawled out the rudest pirate songs and sea shanties they knew. One night, the pirates partied until dawn, but this time they fell asleep on the deck. Molly tiptoed over the tangle of arms and legs and threw a bottle over the ship's rail. Splish, splash, splosh. It landed in the deep, wide sea. Hey, what was that? Morgan O'Meany yelled. The pirates staggered over to the ship's rail. It's a message in a bottle, they all cried. Bring it to me, Captain Firebeard shouted. Now! The pirates dived into the bottom of the sea. They searched and searched, but Molly's message in a bottle had bobbed away. They crawled back on deck, soaking wet and cursing. Tell me what you wrote, Captain Firebeard demanded. But Molly just kicked at his wooden leg. Captain Firebeard turned as red as a lobster. Now it's time to feed her to the sharks, he roared. But a cry from above stopped him. P -p 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 pirates shouted Tenpint Ted from the crow's nest. Nonsense, Captain Firebeard scoffed. We're the only pirates around here. But he was wrong. A ship with red sails was speeding towards them. A giant black flag with a skull and crossbones fluttered from its mast. Who in the name of Neptune's beard is that? stuttered Captain Firebeard. That's my mum, Molly grinned. It's Barbara's Bertha herself, the crew of the horrible haddock wailed. Captain Firebeard turned as white as a sheet and his pirates rolled their eyes in fear. This time it was their knees that were shaking. Billy the Bald's false teeth almost flew out of his mouth. The ship with the red sails drew closer and closer. Barbarous Bertha stood at the prow swinging her cutlass. Wait until she sees my hands, Molly said. That red and raw from peeling potatoes, that will make my mum maddest of all. Captain Firebeard and his pirates groaned with terror.
Soon, Barbara's Bertha was alongside the horrible haddock. Her ferocious crew swung themselves over the rail with a terrible roar. We're here at last, my pirate girl, Barbara's Bertha cried, and she threw Molly high into the air. We got your message. Your grandma was beginning to wonder where you were. Now how nasty can we be to these piratical nincompoops? Well, said Molly, that's easy. From that day on, Captain Firebeard and his pirate crew had no time to think about robbing ships. William Woodenhand scrubbed the deck. Morgan O'Meany and Cutlass Tom peeled potatoes from morning till night. Captain Firebeard polished Barbara's Bertha's boots 14 times a week. And at last, Molly was able to visit her grandma. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you again soon.